ABC6 investigates. It's not listed on the New York Stock Exchange, but a very precious cargo moves through Ohio around the clock. The profits of major drug cartels based in Mexico and South America. Chief Investigator Tom Susi takes you inside this cartel cash pipeline. Tom? Yolanda, when it comes to law enforcement intercepting the profits of these criminal enterprises, the feds tell me that Ohio ranks fourth in the nation. Fourth. And that money train runs smack through Columbus. Over 50% of the U.S. population is within 500 miles of Columbus, Ohio. Therefore, uh, you get a lot of traffic coming in and out of this area. It's a hub for all illegal activity. Especially illegal drugs. Check out these police snapshots from recent undercover operations. Stacks of cash, bundles of drugs, and guns. Lots of guns. We have to pool our resources in order to be successful. ABC6 investigators recently sat down with some of the key federal, state, and local players that make up the Columbus Bulk Cash Smuggling Task Force. The unit is run by Homeland Security Investigations. Its mission? Simple. We go after the money. The objective is to follow the money in these investigations and take the, that element out of the criminal organization. The money is the lifeblood of every criminal organization. Thanks to this unit, some of those organizations are Henry Jean Green. Since February of 2012, when the unit started, it's confiscated nearly $6 million in cold cash. Money put right back into this program to fight crime here in Ohio. Following the money trail, though, is challenging work. These criminal organizations are use all different types of methods, whether it's a vehicle, uh, trains, um, airplanes, so all different modes of transportation. Recently, this thick stack of $100 bills was found stuffed inside this car seat. Oh, it's always surprising to me at the, the number of ways that they try to conceal things inside the vehicle. Fortunately, in Columbus, we're very adept at that, so uh, we're very aggressive. We know what to look for, and I think we're putting a huge dent in it. And not just cartel cash, either. To date, the task force has also seized 49 kilos of cocaine, 20 kilos of heroin, more than a thousand pounds of marijuana and other drugs including meth on top of that more than 100 guns have been taken off the streets if you have the ability to take the profits from these organizations uh, you're going to disrupt those organizations and they've disrupted the workforce too to date more than 300 people have been arrested now most of them are mules hired by the cartel to, to smuggle back their profits. I've actually spoken with uh, several addicts who were used as mules, and, uh, you know, these guys figure out who the addicts are. They know they need uh, money. They'll pay them in smack or they'll pay them in, in, in pot. And if they know as little as three or four words of Spanish, they can be hired and they want to take the risk. Oh, absolutely. They know where these people are. They target them, and usually they're down and out and need money. Yeah. So that's how they find their mules. So it's got to be pretty risky for someone. What oh, are the yeah. penalties if you're caught? Well, one thing is, is you lose a bunch of money and drugs belonging to uh, the cartel guys, you're in a lot of trouble. And with the, yeah. the law enforcement, this is a crime that carries up to 20 years in a federal prison. For yeah, our first well, offense? Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's you might be safer penalty. getting arrested. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? Some Not cases yeah. around. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. You got it. All right. You can leave a tip for Tom and the ABC6 investigators at 255 News, or you can drop them an email at tips at abc6onyourside.com. You can also find them both on Facebook and Twitter.